Hey, everyone. Having a good time, are you? <laughs> I love Duloc, first of all. Very clean. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 unscripted moments in DreamWorks movies. So, yeah. Did you ever imagine it would end like this? The horse is a surprise. <laughs> For this list, we'll be looking at our favorite ad-lib lines, quips, and moments that were too good to leave out of the final film. Which unscripted moment can't you imagine your favorite DreamWorks film without? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Shrek's Down with the Kids – Shrek the Third In the franchise's third installment, Shrek tries to persuade Fiona's cousin Artie to take over royal duties. Enjoy your stay here in prison while I rule the free world, baby! Alright, let's not overdo it. I'm building my city, people! I wanna rock and roll! We just overdid it. But convincing the potential heir proves to be a tougher challenge than expected. So, like any out-of-touch adult trying to get through to the youth, Shrek tries to use young person lingo. If you think this whole mad scene ain't dope, I feel you, dude. I mean, I'm not trying to get up in your grill or raise your roof or whatever. But Artie's not particularly impressed. However, we are, since apparently Mike Myers improvised all that dialogue. It takes real talent to make outdated slang as hilarious as he does. And if it doesn't groove or what I'm saying ain't straight tripping, just say, oh, no, you didn't. You, you know, you're getting on my last nerve, and then I'll know it's... Then I'll, I'll know it's why. We raise our roofs to Myers' commitment here. Plus, it does lead to a hilarious retort from Artie that is all too relatable and takes us back to our teen days. Somebody help! I've been kidnapped by a monster trying to relate to me! Huh? Number 9. Much of the Kung Fu Panda franchise. Kung Fu Panda franchise. With a cast led by the hilarious Jack Black, it seems like some improvisation would be inevitable. His enemies would go blind from overexposure to pure awesomeness! Ah! He's too awesome! And attractive. How can we repay you? There is no charge for awesomeness or attractiveness. Several cast members have confirmed they were allowed to go off script to their heart's content. According to executive producer Shot Nigogoshin, James Hong, who voices Mr. Ping, would do, quote, things that just no one would ever think to come up with. It's just plain old noodle soup? You don't add some kind of special sauce or something? Don't have to. To make something special, you just have to believe it's special. Meanwhile, Master Viper actress Lucy Liu did speak about how complicated working without a script can be. However, she admitted that she also found it exciting. Mantis, this isn't about you. Poe is the one freaking out. I'm not freaking out. Poe. I'm freaking in. And, as you'd expect, Jack Black ran wild with this free reign at the encouragement of the creative team. The Poe actor is also the reason that in 2008 we were all yelling... Skadoosh. Number 8. The Fake Phone Number – Monsters vs. Aliens as is common practice in the animation world, the Monsters vs. Aliens cast was mostly brought in separately to record their lines. I haven't been outside in 50 years. It's, it's amazing out here. It's a little hotter than I remember. Has the Earth gotten warmer? That'd be great to know that. That'd be a very convenient truth. Co-director Conrad Vernon explained that finding a talented comedic cast who could mine comedy gold on a dime was vital. As one example, the hilarious line from Seth Rogen's Bob about being snubbed by Jella was apparently improvised. I must have been at a different party, because that's not how I interpreted it at all. I don't think your parents like me, and I think that Jello gave me a fake phone number. The cast also included comedy giants like Hugh Laurie, Will Arnett, Stephen Colbert, Rain Wilson, and more. Thanks to clever casting, when President Hathaway discovers the alien's taste for lead, Colbert was able to think up this witty retort. So that's how you want to play it? Eat lead, alien robot! <laughs> Evidently they eat lead. Get him huh. on the chopper! Ha! I'm brave! I'm a brave president! These lines never get old. Number 7. Improv Across Metro City – Megamind with improv experts like Will Ferrell and Tina Fey at the forefront of this villain-turned-hero animation, who even needs a script? <laughs> oh, now that's the spirit! Perry! Fast! Perry again! Now it's time for some witty back-and-forth banter! You go first! Okay, so we'll admit that Megamind absolutely had a script, but they were encouraged to play with it and make changes wherever they wanted. 
I lost my diffuser gun when I misplaced the invisible car. The night you dumped me. Alone. In the rain. Did you ever look back? No! Oh, oh my giant blue head! Breaking from typical animation tradition, the SNL alums attended recording sessions together so they could bounce off one another. Apparently, even Brad Pitt, who voiced Metro Man, offered some off-the-cuff quips that made their way into the movie. Justice is a non-corrosive metal. But metals can be melted by the heat of revenge. It's revenge, and it's best served cold. But it can be easily reheated in the microwave of evil. Well, I think your warranty is about to expire. According to Tom McGrath, the director, about 40% of the film was improvised. And didn't they do a super job? Number 6. Seinfeld buzzes around the recording studio, B-Movie A master comedian like Jerry Seinfeld could easily throw out new jokes while buzzing about behind the scenes of this meme-worthy movie. For instance, remember that scene where Renee Zellweger's Vanessa Bloom pushes Seinfeld's Barry B. Benson to try some coffee? Coffee? Well, uh, I don't want to put you out oh, unless you're no making anyway. Oh, it takes two minutes. Really? It's just coffee. I hate to impose. Don't be ridiculous. Actually, I would love a cup. The comedian said that he told the actress to keep insisting the bee take a sip while he'd continue to refuse. In the end, the scene audiences ultimately saw was primarily made up of this impromptu back and forth. Have sure. a little rum No, cake. no, no, I can't. Oh, come on. And, you know, I'm trying to lose a couple micrograms here. Where? And, well, these stripes don't help. You look I don't know if you know anything about fashion. <laughs> Seinfeld was correct in saying that moments like these breathe life into the story. Also, thanks to Chris Rock, the bee's knees of improv, Mooseblood the Mosquito went from being just a small cameo role to one of the film's standout characters. It's your only chance, bee! Why does everything have to be so doggone clean? How much do you people need to see? Open your eyes! Stick your head out the window! Number 5. Ice Cold Rita, Fleshed Away You can't cast a Broadway legend and not expect him to sing at some point, even if he has to ad-lib the song himself. Ah, and the lady wears big undies, huge undies. This was certainly true for this song and dance man who voiced protagonist Roddy in this 2006 animated flick. As the story goes, Hugh Jackman was meant to sing during the film. Ice cold Rita, never did I meet a girl who's are so cruel. I offered her a jewel, but she let me stuck, stranded on a duck. However, the rights to the still unnamed track were unavailable for some unexplained reason. So instead, the actor just came up with Ice Cold Rita on the spot. How mean can one red be? My Ice Cold Rita, won't you be sweeter to me? We knew he was a triple threat, but we didn't know he was as quick on his feet when it came to making up lyrics as he is when dancing across a stage. Number 4. Hail King Julian, Madagascar Franchise As we've already mentioned, Chris Rock's no stranger to improv. Who knows what you're gonna do? Make it up as you go along. Ad lib, improvise, on the fly, boom boom boom. Really? You know, make it fresh. Fresh, huh? Okay. I could do fresh. So you won't be surprised to learn he ad-libbed a lot as Marty the Zebra. Apparently, the takes that didn't make the final cut were used to voice the dazzle of zebras we meet in the sequel. You're a good-looking group. Y y you like to run? Oh yeah! Running is crack a -lackin'. That's right, that's right! crack a -lackin'. You guys are speaking my crack a -lackin language! But we can't talk about improv without bowing down to Sasha Baron Cohen's kooky King Julian. No, I couldn't. Really, I can't take your crown. That's okay, I've got a bigger crown. It's got a gecko on it. Look at them shake! Shh, go, Stevie, go! The character was initially only meant to have a couple of lines. However, after the actor auditioned with an eight-minute long piece with a distinctive accent, they had no choice but to move him, move him into a more prominent role. I did it! Give me some love! The plan works, the plan works, I'm very clever! I'm the one baby! Come on, time to robot! I am very clever, King! King Julian doesn't deserve any less. Number 3. Fiona's Burp, Shrek Shrek became one of DreamWorks' most famous franchises by wittily subverting the traditional fairy tale genre. Shrek? What? It's a compliment. Better out than in, I always say. After its stars were given plenty of space to improvise, we got some of the franchise's most unforgettable lines. 
For instance, Mike Myers' humorous reprimand for a director who got on his nerves made its way into the movie. <laughs> Alright, you're going the right way for a smack bottom. Myers also improvised the bit where Shrek warms up the crowd after crashing Fiona and Lord Farquaad's wedding. Eddie Murphy's funny parfait quip was also improv. You know what else everybody like? Parfait. Have you ever met a person you say, hey, let's get some parfait? They say, hell no, I don't like no parfait. Parfaits are delicious. However, arguably the most impressive ad lib happened by complete chance. While recording her lines, Diaz drank a soda and. <sighs> Thanks. She's as nasty as you are. Murphy reacted in character, creating one of the film's most memorable moments. Who knew pop could lead to something so delightful? Number 2. Thank You For Nothing – How To Train Your Dragon Much like learning to train a dragon, the directors let their witty ensemble feel their way around their dialogue. Terrific improv actors. And they're also extremely funny. And so we would bring them into the recording booth together and they would just riff on each other. This means we have tons of ad-lib lines to point towards. We love the very quotable, da, 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 we're dead. but the most prominent improvised line made such a major impact that it was even used for promotional purposes. Thanks to some quick thinking from Hiccup actor Jay Baruchel, we all have the perfect comedic line to whip out when things don't go our way. We need her to like us! For nothing, you useless reptile. The on-the-spot hilarity continued into the film's sequel. Craig Ferguson's Gobber provided one of our favorite moments when he said, I pleaded so many times to stop the fighting to find another answer, but did any of you listen? This is why I never married. This and one other reason. His improvised quip brings some well-timed levity to Stoic and Valka's tense reunion. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Afro Circus, Madagascar 3, Europe's Most Wanted. While the script instructed to hum the tune, Chris Rock added lyrics. Kristen Wiig, the improv queen, How to Train Your Dragon. We wouldn't expect anything less from this comedy icon. If you must make a choice between a sword or a shield, take the shield. Get your hands off my shield! It's like a million shields! Take that one, it has a flower on it. Girls like flowers. Ah! Oops, now this one has blood on it. Thunder Sisters, The Crude's A New Age. While this line wasn't scripted, the delivery was spot on. Aga, Bloodhorn, Thunk, your Thunk. <sighs> Smart girl whose name I don't remember. I'm Dawn. Now, you are Sister Sunset. Where's your optimism? Over the hedge. We guess someone didn't read the entire script. Go get it, you little nut. Bingo. Okay, step two. I thought we'd be dead by step two, so this is going great. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Road to a Hilarious Movie – The Road to El Dorado This film also snubbed traditional animation protocol and had its actors share a recording booth. Since Tulio and Miguel's friendship is at the heart of the film, it was important that audiences completely bought that they were close. Made my life an adventure. <laughs> and if it's any consolation, Tulio, you made my life rich. So the actors were given free reign to experiment and bounce off one another while recording their lines. We think we can all agree that this method paid off. The stars are not in position for this tribute. Like he says, stars can't do it. The chemistry between Kevin Klein and Kenneth Branagh really helps bring their characters to life and makes every moment we share with them invigorating. It's also thanks to their on-the-spot comedy that many of us can casually drop the word loquacious into conversations. I will cut you to ribbons, fool. Such mediocrity. Let your sword do the talking. I will. It will be loquacious to a fault. This movie is the El Dorado of unscripted moments. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.